Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Um, today is just a really quick video on a couple of bits that I bought shopping yesterday um, from an Australian brand called Witchery. Um, I feel like they and other shops are only just starting to get a lot of their spring summer items through. Um, there's still been, I feel, a lot of, of wintry things, probably due to COVID, but um, when I went in, I saw these three pieces, which I think are great transitional pieces, either through from winter, but more now to go into, into summer too. So just three pieces, but I'm just gonna show you how they are so versatile and they can be mixed, either one together or mixed in with the rest of my wardrobe. Um, first off, if you follow fashion in the Northern Hemisphere at all, you will have seen the shoulder pad tank. Um, they have been everywhere and Zara certainly have done some, H&M I think have done them, Mango were very popular over there and now Witchery have done their version. Um, I decided to go for a large, though in hindsight I wish I'd tried the medium on because it's coming up a decent size. I did try the extra large on which is a size I normally go for, but it was American footballer-esque, it was huge. So um, I, I've gone for the large, I say I could probably have sneaked away with the medium, which is very surprising. I don't usually get mediums, um, certainly not in witchery. So this is a good size. Um, it's actually, if you can see, it's a champagne kind of color. It's a decent length, so you can wear it over jeans as well if you'd want. I have usual, as usual, have it just tucked in the front. Um, and I think this came up at 69.95, I think, um, which is quite a lot for a t-shirt, but it is a nice cotton. It does feel good, and I think it will last the summer through and still hold its shape, etc. which is one of the, my big bugbears of a t-shirt. So I do feel like this is probably going to be worth your money. It's going to be something again that we can wear over and over again, even with cardigans, jackets, what have you over the top too. So I've paired it with also the witchery skirt that's new in. So it's got a drop waist, um, a side zip, and then the skirt is then gathered onto this drop waist. So actually, it's got lots of fabric. Uh, it's lovely and swishy. And it's also fully lined, which is a miracle these days. So that's fantastic. It's, um, I should have probably checked. It feels like it's some kind of cotton viscose um, mix. It's quite heavy, so but not um, in a restrictive way. And certainly something that's going to be fine through um, spring and summer. I think it's a lovely sort of biscuit shade, goes really great with this t-shirt, um, a nice little outfit on its own. So I'm just putting it with my little straw bag and I've got my glitzy, not that I'm saving them for out, evening outings, but my glitzy wedges on, which I'll show you. So all the new tones, um, but a really cute little t-shirt and I do love the skirt. And all I'm going to do is now just show you some of the other options that we can put the t-shirt and skirt with. So this is the skirt again and it's the slightly more dressed up version of it. I've actually just left the same shoes on um, because at least they've got a heel and I've just put my punched um, neutral bag and this is a top I've had for ages and it's just a silky little top with the fluted sleeve which is just um, still very fashionable at the moment so this is the skirt just elevated not wearing it with a t-shirt maybe a little bit more out for a, a nicer dinner oh and I've got this little necklace on which I absolutely love and it just shows you don't have to spend a great deal of money um, this was $9.99 at H&M and 
I, it's my favorite thing at the moment. So, um, so cute. And these sort of fresh water looking pearls are very in at the moment. So I think this is just another cute little outfit. And now I'll show you the t-shirt styled another couple of ways. So just so I can prove to you that this t-shirt does go with other skirts and lots of things in my wardrobe, I've even got another couple that I could bring out. But this is um, a skirt that I wear quite a lot and it's last year's H&M, but the color, if it picks up well enough, I'm not sure, but the champagne color in the skirt and the t-shirt are absolutely a perfect match. So it gets me out of me having to wear my white t-shirts if I want to dress this down a little bit, white or black. But anyway, this goes great. And just makes me very happy I bought it. I think it's going to be a great piece. Okay, back with the t-shirt again, but now with the third piece that I bought, um, these are a pair of um, trousers which are quite different for me, but I think actually when I saw them on the hanger, I thought well, they could be incredibly unflattering um, for my body shape, though actually, well, you tell me, what do you think? So that I would call them almost um, an old military style in a way. Um, they have pleats at the front, which I, again would be for me an absolute no-go on my tummy. But in a funny way, I think disguise possibly, um, maybe just hide it a little bit. It's got a really cute belt, um, the nearly paper bag, but not quite. Um, They've got some nice detailing with a wide piece and seam at the down the leg. And then if I can keep my balance, they've got a nice detail with a button on the bottom of the trouser leg. Um, nice pockets, um, fake pockets on the rear. And I have just put them on with my old gladiator sandals. And I'm going to stick with my theme and keep the raffia bag um, because I think it just works with this style. But these are a size 14, which again for me is quite astounding. I would normally be a 16 in witchery. And um, a size 14, they fit me actually really well, I think. Um, and also if I did lose a bit of weight, I would feel quite comfortable in them going a bit baggy as well. Hooray, that would be amazing. But um, I think at the moment they still look okay and I would still be happy to, uh, to wear them. Um, these are a size 14 and they were $149, which I think is quite a lot. But I mean, I think you could take these into, they are a very fine cotton, but you could possibly take them certainly into autumn um, with a sweater and what have you on too. So I think they'll, they'll take you through the seasons a little bit and you should be able to get your wear out of them. Um, I also forgot to tell you the skirt um, that I bought, that was also a size 14. I tried the 16 on and the uh, dropped waist just didn't fit here. It was kind of nice around my waist, but then it was a bit baggy where it should, you know, it should fit on the hip before it then goes out into the skirt. So I went for the 14, little bit snug around the waist, but nothing too crazy, but it fit me much more um, comfortably around the hip. Um, so that was a size 14, and that I think was $129. So um, they're my three pieces. Again, t-shirt with the shorts, t-shirt with the skirt, um, and I'm just going to put another couple of things with these trousers. Did I say shorts? Um, I'm just going to put another couple of things with the, the trousers just for you to have a, a look at some options. So just from the days when it's a bit cooler, um, I've just put the a little washed denim shirt on, which is a bit tight across there. Um, and I think the colours go really nicely together of the pale blue. So a linen shirt in the blue would look just as nice. 
Um, I've just gone for the, the denim shirt on this occasion. But um, yeah, I think, I think the blue and the tan work incredibly well together. And this Zay would just give you that option of wearing it when it was just a bit cooler. Okay, back with the trousers. And I thought it might be an idea just to see how it how they looked if we just tricked them up a little bit, maybe to use them on an evening. So I've just teamed it with a little black silky blouse, which I've had for a long time. Um, just took that in again, took it in, and an old snakeskin clutch, and then I've just put some heels on. left my little necklace on and um, on these earrings um, I think I've already mentioned my daughter bought me these from Byron Bay so love them so I, I'm going to call this the end of the video uh, there were only three pieces so um, I think I've shown you a couple of options and shown you how flexible they can be um, so if you have any comments, please feel free to put them in the description box below the video. And until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Uh, but once again, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.